Okay. The rebellious, they like they like James Dean a lot. <laughs> like a little too much. They love seventies punk. They're like they're like rebel without a cause. Yeah, dude. That does it that directly translates to being an asshole for no reason. <laughs> anyway, here's Zoe. Zoe and Zoe? Uh, Zoe and Varl. I was gonna say he apparently can't talk to Varl, but he's there. He's got a girlfriend now. You don't talk to Varl. Right? He's too important for that shit now. Varl's not there to be spoken to anymore. <laughs> no, he's not. So the rumors are true. Look at this bitch. Damn, look how blue you are. She's very blue. Oh, it also hadn't loaded fully. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that looks a lot better than that it did. Just a little bit, though. Uh, yeah. Just a little bit. Not enough, to be honest. <laughs> At least it doesn't look like she just dipped her upper half of her body in blue ink. There's actual design and shit there now. No, that's what I did. Oh, shit. Pulled it to bias. I blew myself. <gasps> <laughs> Over here. I should, hey, I should have just talked to... I, just, I should have just talked to Zoe. Yeah. But I needed you to see that blue girl. Blue lady with the feather chest. Well, I do appreciate... That was some hot shit. I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have done it without Varl. <laughs> Varl showed up and they were like, wow, that is a very, very handsome man. We're going to have to listen to whatever he says. <laughs> without hesitation, just we got to listen to him. And both men and women were dragging their fucking asses on the, on the, on the ground like, uh, like dogs do when it itches. Damn. Because Hell they yeah. just don't know how to act when they get that horny. <laughs> They've never been in these situations before. The only thing they could do is, I, I have to rub my loins against something. I gotta rub the loins. I was like, I am. This is just like bureaucratic shit. Okay. Right. I just want to save the fucking world, man. I gotta do what I need to do. Give me the answers that I need. So I can do what I need to do. Right. Shit. Then maybe I should resupply first. Damn shit. Damn shit, girl. Piss. Piss. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. Huh. Well, I guess if you think you are, let's see what you got working out for you, girl. All she has to do is pull out that butterfly knife and do some tricks and everybody's clapping. <laughs> She can hacky sack for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Minimum. Never seen anything like it, my God. <clears throat> you ever hacky sack? Bet you haven't. <laughs> it's not as easy as you would think. It's not, it's not easy. It actually isn't easy. Especially if you don't have any good coordination like me. <laughs> and if you're using a really bad hacky sack. <laughs> that, that too, yeah. You got you to use a hybrid one that's got, that's got metal beads in it. And it's got some rubber. It gives them some weight and some bounce. The ones with the plastic pellets, they just go flying all over the place. And I don't mean the pellets. I mean, like, the sack itself. Because it's just... It just has so much, uh... There's no dampening of the kinetic energy, you know? You know? Exactly, man. So you kick it and it goes way too high. And you're like, yo, <laughs> yo. And all your friends are like, yo, yo. Remember when Hacky Sack was like such a big deal that they put it in that fucking Freddie Prince Jr. movie? Huh. Which one was that? She's All That? I think so. He goes up on stage for that performance. He did that performance. Yeah, he was doing his Hacky Sack thing. And you remember how that Hacky Sack looked like it was totally deflated? Yeah. That's how they're supposed to be, man. Ah. That's how, that's how mine is. I bought a real one. Oh, okay. I'll show it to you. Well, hell yeah. Um, if you're good. <laughs> oh, okay. If you're a good boy, I'll show it to you. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But then he did Hacky Sack, and then he went on to be Freddy in Scooby-Doo. Yeah. He showed up to the audition, he's like, and they're like, hey, let's see what you got. And he goes, my name's already Freddy. <laughs> and everyone's like, ooh, ooh. My wife could be Daphne. Yeah, okay. And there you go. What is the purpose of coming up here? 
I don't is know. Anything Climb that little thing, maybe? What thing? The little mast there or whatever the fuck. The mast? This is not a boat? It could be. This is not a boat? You could probably transition it into a boat. You could repurpose it. Oh, actually, you come up here because there's green shine over there. And you can... Aha. Uh -huh. You can glide. Look at that Look shit. Look at me. Look at me! What is it? Green shine slab. Yeah, that's some good green slime. Return the slab. Remember? Courage the Cowardly Dog. It was like the scariest thing they put in that fucking show. I don't really remember that because I never really watched that actually. Oh, man, dude. How are we friends? How? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> uh, you were watching Courage, I was watching fucking... You were watching Buffy. No, I didn't get into that until later. You were like, Seth Green, ah. Oh. No, when I started watching Buffy, he wasn't even on the show anymore. You are like, show it to me, ah. Oh. That is true, though. Whenever I do see him, I'd be like, yeah, show it to me. He's like, whip it out. Oh. Any era. Younger, now, like, doesn't matter. Dead, I want to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm go. I'm going to his uh, open cast casket wake, and I'm, I'm unzipping. <laughs> <laughs> they'd, be like, they'd be like, "What were you doing with your hand?" And he'd be like, "I was just putting something in his pocket. It was just <laughs> a souvenir. It was just something like I wanted to do for him." <laughs> but no, you got you got sixty photos of his dead penis. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Right, uh, we love you, Seth. Ew, dude, don't say that. <laughs> don't don't say that as if that that does anything for what preceded it. Yeah, fair enough. We also weren't talking shit about him. We love him so much that we'll violate his dead body. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh god. I like I like Seth Green from um from uh, the movie Airborne. Never saw that. Fuck, dude. It's about this Californian guy. His parents are like biologists. Um, hey, he's he's a surfer. His parents have to go to like Australia, and he's like, "Damn, I'm going to Australia," and they're like, "No, you're going to the Midwest to stay with your aunt and uncle." <laughs> and he's like, "Fuck." <laughs> I do get that. He's like, "There's no surfing out there. <laughs> Everything's frozen." So he goes there, and he, there's the whole culture shock thing. But his cousin is Seth Green. Hell yeah! And he's fucking cringy, and it gets me off. <laughs> he calls himself uh, the Wily Man. Oh God! Which is weird. His name in the fucking movie is Michael. I don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It is Wily. Okay, that's good. And it has the most, uh, the main character's aunt is the most, like, quintessential Midwestern woman. Oh, sweet. Yeah. If I remember, I'll show, I'll show you who she is, and you'll be like, yep, that's the bitch. <laughs> okay. And it says it's called Airborne? Yeah. I'll have to try and look that up. The whole movie turns into, uh, this whole thing about how... Uh, there's like this huge like downhill race on on inline skates <laughs> and uh, I think it's like kids from his school and then kids from like this preppy school who are assholes uh, challenge each other and they have to do it okay and it's it's actually dangerous <laughs> Jesus it's not it's not just something that they're doing to challenge each other like they're gonna go to the hospital if they fall while doing this it's like it's fucking crazy. And they're acting like whoever loses dies. Good God. <laughs> oh, God, that sounds good. In the worst way. And there's a scene in the movie where one of the guys gets pantsed. And he's wearing tidy whities And that shit woke me up. And I know it's crazy that every time I bring up something, I have to bring up how it like awoke, awoke me sexually. But you know what, dude? I gotta be open and honest here. Okay. <laughs> My entire life has just been sexual awakenings. 
I do get that though. And I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the thing to happen that's just gonna fucking blast my third eye open and I fucking transcend. You know. Well, shit. I'm be waiting soon. for it. The amount of media I consume. <laughs> it's bound to happen. It's bound to happen. I'm trying. It'll be this year, I guarantee. And if it isn't, I'll not. This will this will be my last year. <laughs> in general, you're just gonna die on the 31st if nothing happens before that. I'll die. Shit. I'll fucking. Well, di I'll disintegrate. I'll turn to stone. Let's get rich and famous before then. What for you? Yeah. I can't take that shit with me. Exactly. Well, oh, kind of for you while you're here, too, because that way you can enjoy it while you're here, and then if you do end up having to die, at least you got to spend a bunch of money. <laughs> having to die? Yeah. Oh, dude, the raptors? The raptors in this game, they call them cl claw striders. Ooh. And they, they scream at you, and they make you unable to fight. Oh, God. I don't like that shit. I don't like it either. Uh, no, let me scan the uh, machine. I'm gonna scan stop you. it! Why does it take so long? There we go. I only needed to almost die. <laughs> yeah. In order for that Just to had happen. to take a hit on that one. That's Where'd it cool. go? Where'd it go? There we go. Shoot it in the butt. Damn, that was like a straight up death. Yeah, wasn't a sort of death. Exactly. Wasn't wasn't a minor death. No, that thing screamed. It was in pain. So yeah, that was a good straight up. It death. screamed straight up. <laughs> straight up. And the only reason I fought is because I wanted you to see the the claw strider. I can ignore him. Oh, okay, well that's good. I could run. Oh, that's that apex, apex, uh, apex otter boy. Hell yes. You can tell they're apex because they're black and purple. Oh, okay. You got that volatile sludge. I need it. You see this raptor just fucking dancing? Yeah. He's just having a good old time, man. Just doing tree cities? <laughs> tree city. Ooh. 360 hard flip. 360 hard flip? Yeah. It's a difficult trick, to be sure. <laughs> yeah. That's why they call it hard. It's not that hard. Don't, the only reason they call it a hard flip is because a hard motherfucker has to do it. <laughs> Damn, dude. Don't even think about doing this flip if you ain't hard. If you haven't hit a security guard uh, with your with your skateboard while, while trying to get a line at a spot, then you can't do a hard <laughs> flip. <laughs> If you haven't, <laughs> oh, oh shit! I died. If you haven't talked shit about the owner of Hot Topic while eating your Auntie Annie's fucking pretzels, <laughs> you ain't getting this hard flip. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, you know what I said was actually hard. What you said was cringe. I... Man, you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You don't know what's hard, what's cringe, what's cool and not I guess I don't ice cool fire hot ice soft fire hard <laughs> see told you didn't know you didn't know you didn't know you keep on saying stupid shit <laughs> snow alpha snow alpha hell yeah sand beta oh, completely Everyone knows that. Where'd it go? Oh, that some bitch went hiding. It's not hiding. It's just. It's just. It's just a <laughs> grass. And now it's dead. Now it's dead. Yes. Died like a full-on fucking animal. <laughs> Death full-on, animal style. <laughs> it's got that sauce and onions and shit with it. It's got the sauce. <laughs> it's the only good way to eat your food. 
It's got the animal sauce. <laughs> oh, ouch, 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 ouch.